Okay, so we got a little bit of Resident Evil going for our gaming night here that we're doing. Um, I kind of noticed it's kind of like Hutch's gaming night, but me and Chris decided to rent Resident Evil, so I decided I'd post the game. Uh, <laughs> this game is full of a lot of little mazes and secrets and random crap and pointless boss fights. But uh, other than that, it's a good game to rent. Uh, I wouldn't recommend buying this game. Um, I don't think it's really worth the money. The replay value sucks once you get infinite ammo on all your weapons. Uh, this is the first boss fight. We uh, tricked the boss into going into the furnace, and we uh, turned the furnace on, as you can see there. <laughs> What's bad about killing the boss in the furnace is it doesn't drop any treasure. Which was uh, maybe just a glitch in the game. Um, don't know what caused that. Uh, later in the game, we got to a um, small village. Uh, we had to jump a bridge, and uh, it goes into a cutscene of uh, a truck coming down. And uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, it takes about three tries uh, to die every time to realize to shoot the barrels at the correct time to knock the truck over on its side. Um, further in the village, we uh, get towards the end and we encounter uh, the chainsaw boss, the very first one. If you play the demo at all, you'll, uh, you'll remember this guy. Uh, even with the magnum, it takes uh, about like five or six shots after I beat the game. Um, we finally take him down with our regular weapons, and uh, we get to the helicopter crash site, which is at outside of the village. Uh, we get into a little motorcycle cutscene here, which is kind of funny. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, pressing button cutscene things. Um, this guy's name is Irving. He's one of the big guys that we've been following around. you drop yours? He's uh, the guy that's been funding all the research for uh, all these biological weapons and whatnot. Uh, basically, he gets his ass saved by Jill, which is uh, Chris's old partner that Chris is so stupid doesn't realize it's her until like the very end of the game because she's got like a mask on, but he just ah, he's a dumbass. Uh, this is our second boss. Um, not not really. Uh, I don't no, none of the bosses in this game are hard, really. Uh, Besker seemed like he was really hard, but um, in reality, it, for this game, nothing is hard unless you know why things happen. Like uh, some boss fights, you can't even kill bosses like, in a certain area, so it's pointless wasting ammo. Uh, There's a lot of cutscenes like this where you're driving and you're shooting people. Uh, eventually, we ended up in a village fighting one of the El Gigantes and uh, took him down. And later on, Chris and Shiva, like, Chris goes back in time to show her who Wesker is. And he's basically the most legit dude of all time. He moves at light speed because his virus is legit. And, uh, yeah, that's Jill, the girl that's uh, behind the mask that Chris is idiotic and can't realize who it is. And uh, later on, we get to another village where Chris has to dodge a bunch of crocodiles. <laughs> Uh, we finally get to the boat where we've been chasing don't Irving you, the entire time. You're making me look bad. I like this guy, his cutscenes are kind of funny. <laughs> so he injects himself with the virus to become more powerful and hopefully defeat us. And, uh, as you can see, he uh, became a gigantic monster. And he, <laughs> he pops out of the monster's mouth and you get to shoot him every once in a while. We finally finished him off and That's threw him so on the boat. <laughs> Not gonna change anything. You're still screwed. And then uh <laughs> Chris tries to get a little trigger happy, but this guy dies anyways. Uh the virus is selective and it only selects a certain host. Uh so like one in a million will get one in a million people, let's say, will become a super powerful being. Uh we get to another maze, a uh, little mini game area. And uh, once again, we fall into another mini game right after that, where you have to just press buttons and run away. Uh, I die because uh, I didn't press the A button fast enough, and uh, uh, we eventually redo that, and I pass it. Uh, the boss that we had fall off the cliff has come back, and uh, actually replayed the game and actually beat this guy, uh, but we didn't have good guns at the time. And this guy does get beaten, and he drops that shit, but. Uh, 
I think uh, if you kill him down there, he drops a soul gem. You the get to pick it up and sell it as treasure. Um, this is the good. hot chick um, hench henchwoman for Vesker, who is apparently back after Jill tackled him outside the window. Because Ves Vesker's too legit, he can't die. You know, I was for such a success. When you first arrived, I had my doubts. And now Ouroboros is complete. Your position at Tricell is <laughs> This is kind of funny. Oh, I have my eyes set on something much bigger. <laughs> so many. So we get down we into the complex underground further and further, and all those little cells are little c capsules for people that have been abducted and tested on. And for some reason, the vehicle we're on, or the little elevator stops, and we're like, oh, hey, why did that happen? Why? And then Shiva turns around and she's like, oh, there's a big shadow behind us. What could that be? That's why. And Chris is like, I'm going to shoot him with my pistol. Giant sp spider monster. This is one of the longest Damn. boss fights we Where had. It, it took all of our ammo. And once again, there's Hot Chick on a computer. Who the hell are you? It's still like Yona. She works with Tricell. Nice. You've done your homework. Then we get to fight Vesker. Um, we wasted all of our ammo on this guy and the first. This, this is one of the pointless boss fights I'm talking about. We wasted all of our ammo on him and we realized we couldn't kill him. We just had to hide for seven minutes. So uh, Eventually we have to rescue Jill and pull off a little device that's controlling her on her chest and we save her life and she's fine. And uh, now we have to go on to finish Vesker. This is your only chance. If Wesker succeeds, Uroboros will be spread across the globe. Can't believe I'm only like halfway through. A little over halfway. Um, we go onto the boat later and we find that Excella has been tricked by Vesker and injected with the Uroboros virus. And obviously you can see that it injected her body and she turned into the gigantic monster and we had to use this laser weapon to... It's a bitch to lock on, the laser weapon. Uh, except for it's easy for that part, but uh, we spent like, a, like probably 30 minutes fighting this creature until we realized there's a laser weapon and we could use it. So uh, we find Vesker. We realize the only way to kill him is to turn off the lights, and he'll catch that, and then I have to blow it up in his hands. And then one of us has to like grab him, and the other person has to inject him. Do it! Inject him! So I inject him, and that's supposed to make him weaker if I give him too much of his little serum. And he gets effed up a little bit. Oh, he got effed up. <laughs> oh, I'm still... I'm still tough. I'm gonna throw this needle. Infrared mode! Infrared mode! He looks pissed. So, uh, this isn't over, going on to this, uh, you have to kill Lester so many times. So we get onto his little plane and we're fighting on the plane. Once again, another cutscene. He kicks the crap out of me as usual. He kicks the crap out of Shiva. Your feeble attempts only delay the He really likes monologuing. I notice. Cover me. And if you don't fire, he like lands on top of my head and breaks my neck. <laughs> so we get into a cutscene where they're both hanging out there. Then he realizes how his friend Jill that like died, and he doesn't want that to happen again. So if you want to save Shiva, you have to press the buttons. <sighs> Just kidding. I, I press the button. And then he's like, oh, I'm taking you with me. And then it's like a, it's like a movie. <laughs> it's like, okay, Wesker's finally dead. No, he's still alive. Just kidding. I need to kill him again. I sure he is the final time you have to kill him. So like, I stab him in the back. And then gets into another cutscene and finally killed Wesker. And the oh no, the game's not over yet. Hit the kill Vesker one more time. 
He's like standing in hot lava and not melting. Uh, the first time I got to this part, I didn't press the left and right trigger, and he pulled the helicopter down to the hot lava. <laughs> so, uh, there's the game for you right there. Uh, you know, this is a rentable game. You should just rent it. I don't recommend buying it. Um, look at this black guy right here. He looks like he's infected, doesn't he? He kind of looks back <laughs> like a weirdo and just kind of keeps on finding more the helicopter. More I find myself wondering. It's all worth fighting for. for and uh, there's fear. Resident Evil. Hope you guys enjoyed this little yeah gameplay. It's worth it.